Namaste. And thank you for joining us today for a little breathing and stretching and helping the body feel good. So let's start by sitting up on your mat. If your knees aren't warmed up yet and you want to sit with your legs straight, that's perfectly fine. Flex the feet back. Legs nice and strong, shoulders back and down, crown of the head reaching up. If you'd like to cross your legs, that's great too. I just really suggest that you get your knees below your hips, and if that means sitting on a blanket, then so be it, or a stool. You just don't want the knees up, because when your knees are up, your back is going to round, and that's really bad for your low back. So you want to get those knees down. Good. So once you get comfortable, shoulders are back and down, crown of the head's reaching up, bring the hands together, thumbs pressed into the sternum. Close the eyes and let's take three nice inhales. So inhale, let the belly fill. Exhale through the nose, draw the belly button back. Again, inhale, filling the belly and the chest. Exhale, draw the belly button in. Third time, fill the belly, the chest, all the way up to the collarbones. Exhale, draw the belly button in. Good. Now just completely relax. Let those shoulders down. And I'd like to quote the Dalai Lama to start our practice today. It's called A Precious Human Life. Every day think as you wake up. Today I am fortunate to have woken up. I am alive. I have a precious human life and I am not going to waste it. I am going to use all of my energies to develop myself, to expand my heart out to others, to achieve enlightenment for the benefit of all beings. I am going to have kind thoughts towards others. I am not going to get angry or think badly about others. And I am going to benefit others as much as I can. Great way to start any yoga practice. So let's take one more nice deep inhale and exhale. Release the hands down. Let's lie down on the mat for just a moment. So bring yourself down on your mat. Bend the knees. Bring the heels as close to the sits bones as you can. Take the hands out to T, straight out to the sides, palms down. Relax those shoulders down. Take an inhale, exhale, drop the knees down to the left. And twist your head just a little bit to the right. Again, those shoulders are relaxed down. Now breathe. Deep belly breaths. Really feel the belly rise and fall. Draw it into the spine as you exhale. Mm. Good. Inhale the knees back to center. Exhale, drop the knees the other direction. Head goes the opposite direction to the opposite shoulder. And just focus on the belly and the breath. With every exhale, relax a little deeper. And inhale back to center. Let's take the feet all the way up to the ceiling. Flex those feet back. You can hang on to the back of the legs if you want. And let's just point and flex the feet. Good. Take the feet around in circles. Feel the muscles in the back of your legs. 
Feel the miracle of movement. Reverse direction on the circles. Get those ankles all warmed up. Good. Flex the feet back again. Bend the knees. Bring the hands between the knees. Hands over the feet. Just rock like a happy baby. Or you can flatten the back. Bring the knees into the armpits. Rock like a happy dead bug. Find your happy place, whatever that is. And then bring the knees back into the chest, hands around the knees, just rock from side to side. And then rock forward and back just a couple times, just don't go on your neck until you rock all the way back up to a seated position. And again, grab your blanket if you need it. <laughs> Get your knees down. Good. Nice and tall. Spine is long. Let's take the hands out to the sides, palms up. And let's point and flex the fingers. The hands. With the fingers pointing up, let's open the heart. So we're going to inhale, roll the shoulders back. Open the heart. Exhale, round the shoulders forward, pull in on the belly. Inhale, back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, back. Exhale, forward. Feel that spine moving. One more time. Inhale, back. Exhale, forward. Good. Come back up to your neutral position. Make a fist. Rotate the hands around. Get those wrists moving. And then release that. Inhale. Stretch the hands. Exhale. Fist. Inhale. Stretch. Exhale. Fist. Inhale, stretch, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, fist. One more time. Stretch the fingers. Exhale, fist. I know we're feeling it, but bring your arms up into cactus arms. Take an inhale. Exhale, down. Keep those elbows up. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Come on, you can do it two more times. Inhale, up. Exhale, down, just once more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Oh, good. And relax those shoulders, move them around. Good. All right, let's put the left hand down on the mat. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale, over to the left. Breathe, keep both sits bones on the mat. Reach that hand out. Look up towards the stars. Feel that whole stretch along the side of the body. Breathing. Inhale back up. Other hand down. Inhale the left arm up. Over to the right. Doesn't matter which side you do first, you just always want to do both sides. Good. And inhale back up. Let's inhale both arms up, reach really tall. Exhale, reach and fold forward. If you'd rather just put your hands on the floor and walk yourself forward, that works too. Again, listen to your own body. Never do anything that hurts. Be aware of your own edge. Breathe into your spine here. We always breathe into our chest, but try as you're bending forward to breathe into the spine. Breathe into the middle part of your spine. 
Feel it expand and exhale, relax forward. Inhale into the lower back. Exhale, relax forward. And now inhale into the shoulder blades. Exhale, relax forward. On the next inhale, you can just walk your hands up. Be gentle with yourself. Come up to an upright position, but then inhale, lift the arms all the way up, palms together, exhale to the heart. Good, and let's just do some big body circles. Make sure we have our torso all warmed up. We'll reverse direction. Good. And come back to center. Palms together. Thumbs pressed into the sternum. Pause for just a moment to find your heartbeat. Feel your spine long and flexible and strong. Be very grateful for your ability to move and to breathe. And being very grateful to be alive. So now we're nice and warmed up. So we're going to start going into our flows and our astronaut focuses. The first thing we're going to do today is a cat and cow. So making sure that our hands are directly underneath our shoulder, our hips are directly above our knee. We're gonna just drop the belly, lifting the hip bones, head is forward, make a nice long spine. And then on the exhale, we're gonna round the back, coming into catch. Inhale, and then exhale. Slow inhale, slow exhale. And you can see that when we're doing this, we're really warming up the spine. And then we're going to come back to a flat tabletop. We're going to just stretch the calves out by taking the right foot back, turning the toes under and just stretching the heel towards the mat. Should be able to feel a nice pull and a nice stretch on the back of the calf muscles. Bring the knee back to the mat. Let's take the left leg back, curl the toes under, push the heel to the mat. Just stretch out those muscles. Bring the knee back to the mat. We're going to come into a child's pose by opening the knees, bringing the big toes together and pushing all the way back. This is also actually a resting pose, so you can come into this at any time during your, your asana flow. So when you're ready, let's push back up to a tabletop, a nice flat tabletop. We're going to curl the toes under. We're going to lift the hips all the way up to the ceiling and push back into our first down dog. When we do this, we're rotating out from the shoulders. We're pushing the chest back towards the thighs. So we're lifting the hip muscles up as far as we can. We're going to bend the knees. We're going to look between the hands. We're going to step, walk, or jump forward and come into a forward fold. And the first time you do a forward fold, it's always nice to grab the elbows, allowing the shoulders to open and widen, bringing the chest down towards the thighs, making sure the head is nice and loose. So just shake your head yes and no. And then release the hands and roll all the way up, one vertebrae at a time. 
coming into Tadasana. So Tadasana is mountain pose where we're standing completely in line. The hips and the ankles and the shoulder are all aligned. And when we relax the shoulders back, it allows the hands to open up slightly. We're lifting from the top of the head, bringing the top of the head up towards the stars. So we're going to do the warrior series today. So I like to start by inhaling the arms all the way up, stretching, reaching high, bringing the hands together and bringing them into the heart center in Anjali Mudra. We're going to inhale the arms up, all the way down, take the left leg back, bend the front knee, make sure when you look down that that knee is right over the ankle and that when you are looking forward you can still see the big toe, the little toe next to it. We're going to inhale the arms up, shoulders are back, we're going to make sure we're not too far forward and not too far back but we're balanced right between those feet. And when you look at the ankle here, the heel comes all the way back in line with the other heel or towards the middle of the foot. So we're up, our shoulders are back, they're relaxed. If your arms are too heavy, you're welcome to bring your arms behind you. But just make sure the shoulders are back, you're well balanced. And if you want to, you can take your gaze up to the stars. This is a really good strengthening core pose here. And just standing like this will build a lot of strength. Warrior one. For warrior two, we're going to take the arms forward. We're going to sweep the left hand and the left hip back, coming into a nice straight line. Make sure that your arms are parallel. Take your gaze over the right arm. Make sure that knee is still bent over that ankle. Make sure you're not far forward or too back, but you're just balanced in the middle there. You're going to inhale the left hand down, turn the right hand up, bring it up towards the stars. You can take your gaze up there if it feels good. Otherwise, if your balance is off, just put your gaze wherever feels good for you. Now we're going to exhale the right elbow down to that knee. Inhale the left hand up and over. Make a nice straight line from the fingertips all the way back. Coming into a nice, straight, strong pose here. Inhale back up to warrior two. Let's turn the body to the side. Knee is still bent here. The hips are level and facing forward. And we're going to straighten that front leg, lift the arms up, and then lifting from the hips, let's come all the way forward over that straight leg. It's a big stretch to the inside of that right leg. Reverse swan dive all the way up, reach up high, hands together. To the heart. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we can either just take a stretch coming into a wide angle like this, toes pointing forward, come into a star, little back bend here, nice stretch, bring the hands together to the heart. And then jump the feet together and walk to the other side. So for warrior one, let's inhale the arms up again, reach up high, grab a star, bring it down to your heart. We're going to take the right foot back this time. Make sure that, that left leg is bent. Again, look down, make sure you can see your big toe, the one next to it. Make sure your feet are in alignment. Hips are level and forward. Inhale the arms up, make sure you're not forward or back, but right in the middle. Gonna inhale the arms forward, 
sweep the right arm back, take the right hip with it, coming into a nice straight line. Front leg is still bent, make sure. We're going to exhale the right hand down the thigh, inhale the left hand up. Keep breathing. Exhale the left elbow to that left knee, inhale the right arm up and over with that nice straight line. Really feel the stretch down the side here. Shoot electricity out of your fingertips. Inhale back up to warrior two. Turn the body and the hips to the front. We're going to straighten that left leg, lift the arms up. Lift from the chest and bend at the hips, come all the way down towards the floor, keeping that front leg straight. And then if it feels good for you, Let's come up to warrior three. Make sure that that toe is pointing down to the mat and your hips are level. Come back to the mat, forward fold, reverse swan dive all the way up, hands together to the heart. Let's also do some balancing while we're here. Balancing is so very important for, it, for us as we um, age. So let's first inhale the arms up, interlock the fingers coming into steeple mudra. Exhale to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to center. Open the arms, come into cactus. Little back bend here. Arms up together, come back to center. Just going to come to the middle of the mat here, just so you can see. We're going to do tree. So tree pose is one of the uh, most basic of yoga poses and also probably one of the most important. So making sure that our feet are parallel, which means that the toes are a little closer together than the heels and the side of the feet are parallel. Let's just take our hands to heart center, bring the right foot up to a kickstand. Hips are level. Take that right knee out to the side. And when you're ready, just bring the foot up to the car. When you feel balanced enough and find a drishti point which helps you with your balance, that's a gaze point that you can focus on that isn't moving, you can take our arms up in the shape of a tree. Make little tweaks with your branches as well if you want to. Or you can keep your hands together at the heart center. But you're also able to just Keep that big toe of the right foot just down on the floor as long as the weight is in the left foot so you're still building the strength in that left leg and the right toe is just helping you balance until you feel comfortable enough to bring that foot up. And don't forget when we balance we always do both sides. So take a breath and then prepare to do tree pose on the other side. So right foot is down into the, the ground. Make sure that you lift your toes and spread them. Everything is anchored down. Bring the left foot to a, to a kickstand. Left knee is out, hips are forward. And then when you're ready, just bring that foot up. Again, this foot can go anywhere that you want it to go, whatever is comfortable for you. And then when you're ready, bring the arms up, release the shoulders, make sure they're down, everything is straight, make sure that you're focusing on that drishti point. Relax and breathe. And when you're ready, just bring that foot down. You might need to shake your legs out a little bit. There are lots of other poses that you can do 
but one of the simplest ones to still be building that strengthen that strength in your left leg is maybe just an evil pose. Try and bring the shoulder blades back together, opening the chest. Maybe take the leg out to the side or even behind you. And when you're doing this, see if you can also use your smile muscles. It all helps. And then of course, when you've done that, do the other side. So when you're ready, And this is something we can do basically at any time when you've just got a few seconds. It doesn't take very long to do, but every time you do it, you're building that strength. You're helping with your power. So if you need your sits bones to go out a little farther, that's okay. You want to still be able to see your toes. If you want, you can raise the arms up or just bring the hands next to the heart. And then we'll come into a deeper squat. And however it feels comfortable, we're going to come down to the floor. Sit on your blanket if that feels comfortable. Legs straight out in front. Flex the feet. Hands down by the hips. Make sure your legs are turning inward. Your heels are out a little. Your shoulders are back. We'll inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Now if you want to start with your hands above the knees and start to fold until you feel the stretch in the back of your legs, that's fine. If you can reach farther, that's fine too. If you can reach all the way to your toes, then your hamstrings are very flexible and that's okay. Just keep that back nice and straight. Inhale back up, bring the feet, bottom of the feet together, way out front. You can take the hands underneath the legs, wrap the hands around the feet underneath, and fold forward. You're going to feel this stretch along the lower back and the back of the hips. You might even open up your shoulders a little and fold, relax, relax the breath. Inhale back up, bring the feet closer together, grab the toes, let the knees relax toward the floor, and then fold forward. You're going to feel this stretch on the inside of the thighs. Those are your hip adductors. We need to keep those stretched out to keep your hips flexible. Good. Inhale back up. Take the left foot out in front. Bring the right foot into the thigh. We want the left hand down by the hip. Raise the right arm up. Reach across the left leg. Take the head toward the knee. Again, wherever you're at, it's okay. If you want to bring your arm up here, that's okay. Down here is okay. Around the foot is okay. Take the head toward the knee. You're going to feel the stretch in the back of the leg and along the oblique muscle. 
You might even feel the stretch in the shoulder. Inhale, back up. Good. Switching legs. Left foot into the thigh. Right thigh. Right hand back by the hip. We'll take the left hand up. Reach across the right leg. Take the head toward the knee. Wherever you're at is where you should be. You want to feel the stretch, but you don't want to over stretch. Good. Inhale back up. You can sit back on your sits bones. Raise one leg at a time, or you can raise both legs straight up, arms out. Feel the belly tighten and strengthen as you Tighten those abs. Even doing one leg at a time will still strengthen the abs, strengthen the legs, lengthen the back. Good. Bringing both feet down to the floor, knees bent. We're just going to let the arms relax out to the side. And we're going to slowly lower down to the floor. Bring the knees into the chest. Rock from side to side. Let's go ahead and wrap the arms around the left leg, extend the right leg out on the floor. Flex both feet, squeeze the knee toward the chest. Each time you exhale, squeeze the knee a little closer to the chest. Good. And then we'll take the knee with the right hand. Left hand goes out to the side. We're going to twist over to the right. Gaze goes to the left. Shoulders relax into the floor. So your twist does not have to be very deep. It's totally up to you and your spine. Just relax into it. Inhale back to center. Take the left foot all the way up to the ceiling and slowly lower that leg to the floor. Feel the strength. Bring the right knee into the chest. Wrap your hands around the knee. Flex both feet. Exhale, squeeze the knee into the chest. Inhale, loosen. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, loosen. Exhale, squeeze. Taking the knee with the left hand, the right hand goes out to the side. We're going to twist over to the left. Gaze goes toward the right. You can twist a little or a lot. This is a really deep twist. So be gentle with your body. Relax into it. Inhale back to center. Take the right foot all the way up to the ceiling. Slowly lower the leg toward the floor. Bring both knees into the chest. Raise the legs up toward the ceiling. Grab the back of the legs. Gently pull toward the head. If you feel like doing a shoulder stand, this is a good place to do that. But right now we'll just gently pull the legs toward the head. 
Good. Hands down by the hips. We're going to slowly lower the legs toward the floor. Feel the exhale. Feel the strength in the abs. Inhale. Raise the legs back up. Exhale. Slowly lower. If you want to do one leg at a time, that's okay. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Do the other leg. Inhale up. Exhale lower. These are so good for the psoas muscle. The psoas muscle runs along the pelvic bowl all the way around. Comes down the front of the thighs. Those are hard to get to. Good. And one more. Bring the knees into the chest. Rock from side to side. If you want to, you can reach through the middle of the legs and just rock back and forth like a happy baby. We're going to take the feet all the way up to the ceiling and slowly lower the legs to the floor. Hands down by the hips. We're going to bend the knees. We're going to inhale the arms up to the ceiling. Stretch the arms. Stretch the shoulders. Exhale, just drop the shoulders to the mat. Inhale the arms out to the side. Open the heart. Exhale the hands back toward the ceiling. Shoulders down. Inhale the arms way overhead. Good. Exhale the hands back to the hips. Lengthen the legs out on the floor and we'll prepare for Savasana. Our final pose. Our most important pose. So you want to make sure that your body is in alignment first. So take a nice deep breath, tighten the fists, flex the feet, tighten the legs, fill the belly, and exhale, relax everything. Let the chin tuck a little bit toward the chest, lengthening the back of the neck. Let the palm of the hands turn up wherever it's comfortable so that the shoulders melt into the floor. Let the feet splay open so the legs are relaxed, the hips are relaxed. Close the eyes. Try not to think about anything at all. You want to relax the mind, relax the body. Notice how your body feels from the tips of your toes, all the way up the legs. Notice your hips, your abs, your back, your shoulders. Notice your arms, your hands, your fingers. Notice your neck, your chin, your tongue floating around in your mouth. Notice your eyes sinking back into your head. Notice the crown of your head. As you relax here in Savasana, 
allow yourself to feel free and relaxed. As you breathe in, calm your body. As you breathe out, smile and be master of yourself. As you breathe in, feel like a flower. As you breathe out, feel fresh. As you breathe in, feel like a mountain. As you breathe out, Feel solid. As you breathe in, feel like space. As you breathe out, feel free. Slowly begin to bring your awareness back into this room. Wiggling the fingers and the toes. Stretching the arms up toward the ceiling or way overhead if that feels good to you. You might stretch the right side, and then the left side, and then both sides. Bending the knees, we'll roll to the right side and rest for just a moment. As you build energy back into your body, Remember to picture a big flowing bubble around your whole body. Make it a nice colorful bubble to protect you and your immune system throughout the day. To keep you strong and healthy. And safe. Gently pressing back up to an easy seated position. Top of the head reaches for the ceiling. Hands pressed together at the heart center. My wish for you is that you be happy and healthy free from fear and suffering, and that you live always in loving kindness.